everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a fun one. We're going to be talking about the potentially upcoming Zenkai Super Saiyan Bardock. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe, of course, if you're new to the channel for more content. Today's video like goal is 2,000 likes. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to help us hit our like goal. Now, why are you are, well, You will probably think like, what, D3, why are you thinking that there's going to be a Zenkai Bardock or, oh, Zenkai Bardock isn't happening. X unit needs a Zenkai before whatever you're thinking, right? Here's the deal. Um, I don't necessarily think it's happening anytime soon, for the record. I don't think so. But I've been asked a lot on Twitter, so I'm just dropping the video. Now, people are thinking that this is happening because of the fact that if you go to the exchange shop and you exchange the sparking metal coin things or whatever they are, Bardock is one of the characters now that is discounted. And the last few times, the characters that have been discounted are characters that have had Zenkai Awakenings. So keep that in mind. Like, Gohan was there. Gohan is no longer there anymore. Um, the, not, not the ones that are, like, 10 costs. Those units are whatever. But the ones that are, like, 7 medals or whatever so those are the characters uh that people are thinking about are going to get a zenkai and last time it was like final form cooler he got a zenkai so bardock is on that list now too and people are thinking hey is bardock about to get a zenkai right let me kind of say this really quick there are a lot of characters i think deserve zenkais far more than bardock does in terms of the actual usage in the game but the most important thing i think people need to remember is when it comes to zenkai awakenings they were not at all introduced to be a Extreme Z Awaken like equivalent to Dokkan. They were not introduced to do that. They were introduced to be a way to generate revenue. What does that mean? It means that characters that will not generate revenue, I'm looking at you, Yellow 18, most people are not going to pull on that banner, right? Are probably not going to be getting Zenkais, like, anytime soon at all. Like, they're not, even if they deserve it more, right? But what I will say is, while Bardock does not fit into the theme of the anniversary being like God Key or like Future or something like that, Bardock actually is a very popular character, so I can understand from that scenario why they would do it. And I don't think it has to fit into the anniversary because all the other units have kind of just come out of nowhere. They didn't necessarily fit into anything going on. They just dropped Zenkais for them at, at any moment, right? They just happen, right? So that being said, it doesn't necessarily have to. But if I had to choose a character that deserved it more, that fits in the anniversary theme, as well i think trunks and also trunks is popular right red trunks deserves it so bardock again he could get one i think it's it's possible in the future if you really think about it they don't go based off of the units that were bad already look at that, this dude he did not need a senkai awakening at all right so they don't only care about the units that are bad they want to they want to go for units that will buff teams they want to improve and units that are popular right so let's take a look at what we have here when it comes to Bardock. I need to kind of break things down. We're going to start off by explaining Bardock's kit. And then from there, I'm going to jump into ways I would improve Bardock. We're also going to do things live. Like when I'm reading the green card, I'll talk about ways it can improve that and things like that. So the most important thing that you guys also need to remember in terms of Zenkai Awakening characters is that the characters actually... On top of improving like their stuff, like look, take a look at look, uh, Cooler's Uniques here on the screen. They change, right? Text is added, meaning effects are added. Main ability picks up reduced cost, or uh, reduced uh, damage, excuse me, received by 25%. Like there are changes applied to the unit throughout the entire unit. But they also pick up two new uniques. So like, keep that in mind. Here's an example, because it's not showing on the screen. Cooler picks up two new uniques. These are two entirely new things post Zenkai Awaken, right? So the same applies to Bardock. So just, just think about Bardock, what he has pre-existing, and the fact he's going to pick up two new uniques, right? Again, I think there are numerous characters that need it more than he does, right? Let's take a look at Bardock and what he, uh, what he does for now. Uh, here are the stats for Bardock at my star level. Obviously, that does vary. Got to specify that. Bardock is a unit that is only really relevant for his support buffs. And I'm going to talk about what makes Bardock insane when we get there. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, if you've made it to this point, thank you so much, by the way. So Bardock, um, other than that, though, he is a very, very old unit. So in terms of being an old unit, yes, he deserves it, right? But again, he's not bad to the point where he's his, like Yellow Kid Gohan, for example. There are a number of units that deserve it more and i can go on and on and on but again that's not the point of zenkai if you haven't learned it's to generate revenue so moving on though the main ability here draws the ultimate arts card next revenge assault uh increases arts card draw speed by one level for 15 counts this is not bad he he would be better suited though if he got enough key to use it from this here's an example because i want to kind of because him and cooler actually have the same type of role right here's an example of cooler Cooler just drew the ultimate and had no other effect. But now, afterwards, he restores key, gets damage cut abilities with a main ability for 30 count as well. Like, they added two effects in here, right? So the thing about Bardock is uh, what they did for him was they added uh, the ability to increase card draw speed for 15 counts. By the way, I think this needs to be extended to 20 or 30, 
right? Ideally 30, but they need to extend that and give him the ability to get enough key to use it. They also gave him key restoration. Funnily enough, just enough key as you would want. Most of the time, with these types of abilities, you get 30 key. They gave him that when he uses the ultimate. What is the point of that? It's more or less like you get the key back after you use it, but you don't want that. You want to be able to combo it in. If you don't get it on the main ability, when you, <clears throat> when you draw the card, that means you have to manage and make sure you had enough key to use it in the first place. And he just doesn't do enough effects, in my opinion, to warrant this, right? So I think he needs it. I think that they should add that, right? So this is where Bardock is stupid, is where you get to the uniques. Like, I mean, he's crazy good. This first unique's kind of whatever. But it is, this first unique's a problem, by the way. I'm going to talk about that. But I want to read the Golden Saiyan one first, and we're going to come back. Applies the falling effects to allied Super Saiyan characters when this character is switched to standby. Again, Super Saiyan only. Not Super Saiyan 2, not Super Saiyan 3, not Super Saiyan Rage Trunks, who's, I, I guess technically he counts because he's a Super Saiyan there. They're calling him Super Saiyan, so there's that. Uh, but yeah, not Super Saiyan God, not, not none of that. Just Super Saiyan 1, right? Only these characters, so keep that in mind. So when it comes to that, uh, he applies when he switches out. 20% damage buff for 15 counts. That's really good, really good. 30% crit rate, okay, and then 70% crit damage. This right here, critical damage is one of the most insane stats you can buff, especially when you buff it in conjunction with crit rate. You guys, I'm going to go back over here to Cooler. Cooler buffs critical rate for his allies, right? There are a lot of Lineage of Evil passive buffers, and there's a lot of critical buffs on Lineage of Evil, whatever the case is, but nobody is buffing critical damage. If Lineage of Evil had critical damage, they'd legitimately one-shot every single time on every single action. And they, are, and they are already really close to that, especially a whale lover. They are already really close to that. I mean, like, I can't I can't quantify, like, how powerful this is. This is this is game-breaking. Like, if, if this unit gets, gets a buff and he's allowed to really be enabled to, like, if this extends outside of Super Saiyan, it just goes to, like, Super Saiyan and, like, Saiyans, this is this is too much. This is literally game-breaking. This allows old units to come in off of switches, assuming they're Super Saiyan 1s anyway, and literally explode with damage despite being two years old. It's insane, right? This is an incredible ability. And then you throw the Super Vegeta on the bench, whose Z ability, by the way, buffs crit damage. Super Trunks, by the way, is similar. The green uh, Super Trunks, he, but he buffs critical rates. It's different. It's very, very different. It just says critical as opposed to critical rate. But yeah, so anyways, you put that guy on the bench, this Super Vegeta, and team explodes with damage, right? So this is the main thing Bardock has. Again, Zenkai units pick up two entirely new unique abilities as well. So definitely keep that in mind. There are two other abilities they get. Two other abilities on top of the regular two. So the first unique, the falling effects occur when this character enters the battlefield if a Super Saiyan other than this character is a battle member. 30% damage buff and minus five to strike and blast arts cost, and he gets 40% key recovery. So he has the bare bones of a unit that would be modern as a sidestep unit. Sidestep units are generally going to have the ability to have card draw speed, reduce card cost, and or key recovery, and damage buffs, obviously. But he has the makings of that, technically. He's a melee type. That's the new melee archetype. If you look like characters like Vegito Blue, you look at Kefla, you look at Gotenks, coincidentally, all fusions, all recent units. Um, they all do this. They can extend combos super long. Bardock wants to play the same way. It's just his kit. It's kind of inhibited. His card draw speed is only on the main ability for 15 counts. His uh, entire unique here is Super Saiyan only. This means he has to be on a Super Saiyan team. If you have him on Saiyans regularly, he gets he doesn't get this. He gets nothing. No damage buffs, right? If you don't have another Super Saiyan on your team at all. And uh, sometimes you'll have it, right? But most of the time you won't. They need to add Team Bardock. Here's a fun fact. Team Bardock is a team centered around, well, Team Bardock. You may be wondering, by the way, why DBS Bardock isn't in here. Just... The, the guys, they're in the DBS Broly movie, but we never see them engage with b that Bardock, so that's why he's not here. Like, it's this, it's an entirely different story, right? So that Bardock probably isn't, he's probably not even friends with these guys. Like, who knows, right? That's why he's not here. Um, it's open for interpretation. Anyways, it's centered around that dude. He wants to be the last man standing type of unit, but if you add this dude to the team, that would work out very well. Now, I'm not saying this dude has to be able to support these guys with that insane crit damage buff. But at least letting him function on this team would be good. Because think about it. He cannot function on the Team Bardock team. That does not make any sense, right? He has to get some ability to function on this team. And that's the unique where he needs it, right? So other than that, if they give him 40% damage, cannot be canceled. That would be nuts. The reduction of cost is cool. 
But they can also add in card draw speed by one level. If they give him card draw speed by one level, despite it being in the main ability, that would lead to some insane combos, right? Bardock would be an insane damage dealer. And I think that's what he wants to be, right? So give him that, and I think he's good. And you really don't have to tweak this much. That's very minor tweaks. And it's very akin to Cooler. Cooler got minor tweaks because he did not need his Enkai. He was still decent, right? So that's what I would say in terms of how things are looking for that man, uh, for that unique. Now, like I said, because Bardock is a character that also needs to have allied Super Saiyan fighters alive, <laughs> again, that still makes it to where Team Bardock is not a great team for him. And uh, the reason why I'm, I'm specifying Team Bardock is because I don't think they're going to go as loose. Okay, let me say this then. I'm just so terrified of Red Bardock getting these switch buffs. Like, I was going to say I would make this first unique, just let him be on any Saiyan team and he gets this, and then make this one be like Team Bardock. But I just, I think they have to watch this, because this is, this is too high. It's not like this is 30, this is 70. This is, and 30 would be too high. This is insane. I don't think they can really do anything with this. This, this almost needs to stay exactly the same. I'm going to be honest. This unique almost needs to stay literally word for word the exact same. I don't think it changes. Like, I want to add tags in. I want to add stuff so he can use this. Because if you have another Super Saiyan on your team, he himself gets these buffs too, right? Assuming you can switch back. But still, you know? I don't know, man. Okay, how about this? We're going to leave that one exactly as is. And for the upcoming uniques he'll get, they'll add in the ability to where if he's alongside Team Bardock characters, he'll get buffs in some way. Also, I know the Red Bardock wants to be the last man standing, but Bardock's entire shtick is his whole team gets defeated. That's his entire shtick. That's his, that's his thing. It wouldn't make sense for the Blue Bardock not to have last man standing buffs. He has to have something like that. And then, and really, really then, will he fit with mainly Shugesh and Borgos. We need new Tor and Fasha because they're just old. But mainly then, we'll see what happens. The real question is, when... When will Green Bardock potentially get his Enkai? Because the stuff I'm talking about coming as like a last man standing type of buff would actually fit very well on Green Bardock because he already has some of this stuff in his kit, right? So there's that. But I think I want to kind of wrap this up in terms of Blue Bardock because he's actually a really polarizing unit. He's arguably more polarizing than Cooler uh, in terms of like the way that he would change the game if he were to get his Enkai, right? I think they have to be super, super careful with him because of the fact that this unique is so stupid and you, you just you, – I, I don't think you can give any other team that kind of power, right? Super Saiyans have been a niche team thus far, and when he gets if, – if this guy gets a Zenkai, they'll, they'll go from being niche to being really good because they have some good units in there, right? So I don't think you could change that much. In terms of the blue card, I don't think this changes much. I don't, they don't need to do anything to this. It's fine. The green card, it's actually really expensive. It's 25 cost. There's not a ton of cards that come out of 25 cost. So – if it had the ability to restore key, that'd be really good. If not, please give him some sort of damage buff. Strike damage is fine, 20%. Like, something like that's fine, right? But other than that, this is good. And at the bare bones minimum, cancel attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions, please. Add in abnormal conditions, and this is cool. This is actually a good green card for the health restoration. Like, this is not a bad green card. So that's perfectly fine. The ultimate, like I said, it restores key. Give him ultimate damage. Um, Cooler picks up ultimate damage as well. Give give Bardock ultimate damage. Cooler picked up 40%. And not only that, by the way, it has freaking blast armor and and it draws a green card directly after. Like, his ult is nuts, right? At least give Bardock ultimate damage and he'll be fine. So other than that, that's basically it. For his Zenkai ability, it would probably be blue Super Saiyans or blue Team Bardock. I doubt it'd be blue Saiyan. It could be Blue Saiyan, but I doubt it. I bet it's going to be Blue Super Saiyan. Uh, <laughs> so this guy doesn't have the Super Saiyan tag until he transforms, by the way. So post-transformation, come on, bro. Like, I don't even want to see this Bardock at a Zenkai. I actually don't. <laughs> Anyways, that's a fun little discussion, man. Let me know what you guys would think, uh, what you guys would do, etc. Hope you all enjoyed this. Hit that subscribe. I'll see all of you in the next one.